Greetings farmers and friends and welcome to another exciting edition of AgriScope. AgriScope is a production of the communications unit at the Department of Agriculture and is brought to you in collaboration with your family station ZIZ. This is your host Eric Brown urging you to stay tuned as we explore the intriguing world of agriculture. Food security is our responsibility, not when! In an effort to enhance our food security, the Department of Agriculture strives to continue the progressive development of the agricultural sector. One important area of development is being carried out in the activities to improve the output of the livestock production. The Department of Agriculture seeks to enhance the stocks of local cattle by the introduction of improved breeds via artificial insemination. To date, this method has been successful in introducing the highly recommended cemental breed of beef cattle into our local herd. Today, we present a case of success in this livestock improvement program. We are here this morning to celebrate the birth of a calf. Not just any calf, but a calf that was um, produced as a result of artificial insemination. I have with, with me the Minister of Agriculture, the Honorable Timothy Harris. I have also the Chief Extension, Livestock Extension Officer, Mr. Jeffrey Berry. Um, the livestock farmer, um, Mr. Jeremiah French, and uh, the other livestock extension officers. One of the objectives of, of, of the livestock program is to listen to the, the, the needs of the, the farmer. And several farmers has, had indicated that they wanted the dress weight, that is the, the weight of the animal after slaughter, to increase because, because of um, the, the long years of inbreeding, what had happened is that the dress weight of the animals have decreased. And so we approached Ross University, who came on board with us and provided the training for artificial insemination in cattle. This program will be extended to other livestock animals like pigs and um, sheep and goat in the future. So we did Four, four of the, the, the officers participated in the training workshop and at the end we all received um, our certificate and this is a copy of one of the certificates and you see Mr. Jeffrey Berry is wearing his Sodex Sire cap that, that was one of the prizes that we got for successfully completing the training. After we completed the training we thought we selected a few farmers who we thought that we could um, approach and be successful with these farmers because of the, the they were a little bit more advanced than, than other farmers. And Mr. Jeremiah French was one of the farmers. That we, he was the first one actually that we selected. We came on his farm and we looked and we liked what we saw and we selected him. We did the, the artificial insemination late last year and the calf was born in um, uh, mid-September of this year. So um, we, we, we wish that other farmers, I hope many farmers will be watching this, this, um, this clip and will be jealous and want to get on board. Today it's really a proud morning to be on the farm of Mr. Jeremiah French. Um, Jeremiah has been a cattle farmer for well over 30 years. In fact, it's just last night um, we were down here actually trying to, to catch the calf so that we can really get a close-up shot. And his son was reminiscing to me as to you know, how long his father was around um, doing cattle farming. So it's really an honor and a pleasure to be here and one of the first farmers to really do the AI on, 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 on his farm. Um, the livestock program in, in, in its objectives are to develop farms and you, 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 you can do that in two ways. In terms of developing up the farm, you want to have, um, in, um, you need to in, infuse new genetic material. And you can do that two ways. You can do that phenotypically or genotypically. Phenotypically means you can go and select a bull. And you, so you, you see a nice bull and you select that to be your breeding bull on the farm. Or 
you can go and in, introduce new genes by bringing in semen. Over time, saying it's small, and you find that um, we had um, a lot of inbreeding because um, farmers would just lend farmers other bulls or buy from one farmer to the other. And then over time, you would need to infuse um, new genetic material to avoid um, close relative interbreeding with each other. And the, the program of AI is such one program to introduce new genetic material. Um, what, what, what we have done here, I think we have used the cemental, the cemental breed to, to cross with our local um, cattle here. Again, we can't underestimate our local cattle because they already adapted to our harsh condition and so on. We wanted to put on more meat and the skeleton, so we introduced the new beef type um, um, breed to, to the farm. Again, just to pick back on what the challenge is, the training was done in collaboration with Select Sayan Ross University. We have um, four graduates, um, Dr. Challenger, Bruce, Joy, and myself. And we, we are here to expand this program on other farms. Um, we also want to, to say um, a big thank you to the Taiwanese because one of our constraints that we had was to restrain the cattle on farm. So what they have done, they have given us some funds to build shoots on farm so that when we go to the AI or other um, veterinary practices, we can restrain the, the animal properly so that um, we can get um, the AI done uh, well. Um, so um, that, that within, within a nutshell is just a brief history of what is happening from the livestock program. I want on behalf of the government, really on behalf of the country, to congratulate both the Department of Agriculture and Mr. Jeremiah French and a historic development in the agricultural sector, and I should say in the life and work of the Department of Agriculture. Dr. Challenger Clark advises me, and I verily believe, that this is the first effort in which, through artificial insemination, we have been able to, as it were, increase our livestock population in the country. And so I want to give the department and to give her leadership a round of applause, really, for that fantastic job. And of course, in commending her, we commend the entire department Director Acting, Mr. Thomas, her support staff, key um, extension officer in Mr. Berry. We also have with us Mr. Gilbert here and Mr. Walters and Mr. Clark, the other half of Challenger Clark. Um, these are just some, I think, of the staff support of that particular division. So I want to compliment, commend, congratulate the department for this initiative and likewise to extend our thanks to all those who partner with the department. Dr. Challenger was kind enough to remember the particular training which was received from the Ross University. They have been an outstanding friend of agriculture in St. Kitts and in particular the livestock sector. This perhaps may be due in part that Dr. Challenger was one of the graduates of that prestigious institution. Was the first, graduate. first graduate, I record, and the first female um, graduate in that program for St. Kitts and Nevis. So we are happy for that partnership. Equally, I want to commend the Republic of China. As Mr. Berry mentioned, they facilitated in providing the resources required for the shoots to contain the animals and we are grateful for them because Taiwan has been a genuine friend to the people of St. Kitts and Nevis, but more specifically in agriculture, we could count the many areas of engagement monkey trapping, for example, in recent times, um, our Port of it, which again was a collaborative effort between the Ross University, the Taiwanese government, etc., which allows us now to provide, perhaps for the first time uh, in a long while, the mobile facility in terms of being able to provide the veterinary medical support services directly on farm in a much more ready fashion, timely and responsive way. So we celebrate this history and it is coming at a good time. It is coming at a time when we are faced with the challenges of food security and food nutrition, where we are being invited by the international community to produce more, but not just to produce more to ensure that what we are producing has the highest nutritious content, nutritional value. 
And so we have taken that mandate seriously and we are working to achieve that. In Parliament on Wednesday, I congratulated the entire farming community because the statistics from the Central Bank reveal that for the first six months, 16% overall increase in agricultural production in the country, which is a significant one. And I again want to hail all the farmers. The livestock sector is one which, the, which is predicted to grow, and I'm sure efforts such as this one, this historic moment, where we are introducing artificial insemination, improving the genetic pool, therefore improving the weight and the mass involving animals, thereby extending the revenue generating capacities of farmers in the country, also at the same time increasing the production of livestock and meat in the country. That certainly is an important development which we want to, to um, as it were, encourage. My special congratulations, of course, again to Mr. French and his family for undertaking to be the pioneer in this particular effort and to really to apply science to the agricultural efforts. This is an area in which we need to do more. We need to have more people seeing that the science really makes sense and the science, in fact, when applied to their efforts, can improve their own circumstances. So, Mr. French, I want to commend you for being a pioneer, for being one who has labored long and hard in the agricultural sector and being able to support yourself, being able to support your family, but importantly to have two helpful sons, at least here today, who have been part of this endeavor. Because I grew up with a family too who had been engaged in agriculture and so I appreciate that it makes sense when the family is involved. There are certain things that even a child can do on a farm, a mother can do on a farm, and even when they are not on the farm, they can provide support at home, you know, by taking care of what needs to be taken care of at the home, so that the burden and the supporting mechanism is there. So I want to congratulate you and wish you well. Mr. Berry said you have been in this for a very, very long time and we want you to continue and we want your sons to continue. But most importantly, we want it to be done successfully and that you improve year after year. More importantly, we want you to make more money each year, not only for yourselves, but your family and so on, so that people could really feel that it makes sense being in farming. I can make a living just as anybody else going out, earn the things that I want from honest work and doing something that I love. So again, congratulations to all. And this is a historic day for the Department of Agriculture. We hope that more farmers will enjoy in this particular project. And so over time, our livestock stock would be as robust, as strong, as healthy as it possibly can. And that the country could feel proud about the quality of meat and the quality of livestock generally that abound in the land. Thank you all for this um, special occasion. Thank you very much for the help um, to come and uh, do some good work here about uh, these animals. That, uh, the farmers around will see the calf. Uh, thank you very much to you to come and do this work for me. So I'll thank uh, Timothy Harris. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Been a pleasure. This brings us to the end of our program today. If you have any comments or query for us, you can write us at Agriscope in care of Department of Agriculture, Box 39, Lagrid, Bastard. Or you can drop us a line at email doastk at gmail.com. You can even contact us at telephone number 465-2335. This is your host, Eric Brown. Reminding you to support Homegrown, our very own. Happy farming.